And once I found them, it's like, now we now I remember how good they were back in the day. My life. Nah, it's been elevated. I'm, I'm back home. And whoever thought to put caramel, chocolate, and peanut butter together was just, you know what I mean? With the pretzel pieces. No, nah, no, nah, this is this is the peanuts in it. You talking about the take five. Yeah, it does. I ain't never, I ain't really get down with those. Even though it's a perfect balance of salty and sweet, but. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> this guy, man, he's guilty pledges. Yeah. Don't feel wrong when it's so right. And I know you tried it, didn't you? I did. Mm-hmm. There ain't nothing that I'm gonna do on a regular, though, not like you. I mean, that ain't, I tried it just because you said try it. To see how it was, but other than that, I ain't gonna do it. Try, you know what I mean? I understand the meaning behind it. You know the. It's marvelous. This is greatness. It's just too sweet. Bro, you just took down the candy bar with this plus more. No. Yeah. It didn't have no Rice Krispie in that. Caramel. All right. Chocolate and peanut butter. How is that sweeter than Rice Krispie? Because the Rice Krispie is treat is sweet already. What is caramel? It's no, not when it's condensed into a candy bar. It's not the same. You're not getting as much caramel as you're getting Rice Krispie treat. No, sir. Like, don't don't try to compare your your fatness to to my to you know what I mean to your extreme fatness if that's what you want to call it. <laughs> but that's that right there you feel me like you just now nah this is greatness I got a whole fan base a whole hate. community yeah Ralph you ain't tell me how you like it either uh huh man commented on it he said. This might have been the fattest thing I ever seen <laughs> <laughs> when I posted. <laughs> it might be, you know what I mean? Like, come on, man. This might be the fattest thing I've seen in my life. You know? Boy, get on boat. You know what I mean? Get on board, man. Get on the boat, either way. It is what it is. But hey, welcome back, welcome back. You know what I mean? We live. You know, you know what it is. You know? Mm. It's your boy Frankie B right here. Getting our fat boy on. He man to be man. Oh, yeah. He's he doing his great. thing. You know what I mean? Over that's there. Go in the making. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You know what it is. Connoisseur. Mm-hmm. You feel me? You know what I mean? I ain't going to keep pumping. I am. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't stop when you can. <laughs> well, don't stop. Look, you pulling out a double candy bar. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Look. I might as well enjoy it with you. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you see how you snuck it in? I'm trying to hide it. Nah, okay, I'm going to save it for later. Later is not. I can't do it right now, man. Yeah, but, um, yeah. There's been a lot going on today, man. A lot going on, yeah, the last couple weeks. You know what I mean? Free agency started. Great March Madness about to start. Yeah, but personally, my favorite time of the year, other than, you know, when football season is actually going on, is free agency for me in the NFL. Like, the off season, I, mm-hmm. I really like the off season. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I like seeing the different things go down. Mm-hmm. Well, before we get started on that, celebrating our... our our glorious women. Yes, sir. Some of God's most beautiful creatures ever created. Yep. Happy Women's Month. Yes, sir. Women's History Month. Women's History Month. <clears throat> Do you know who the black first black woman to run for U.S. presidency and elected to Congress was? I believe it was Shirley Chisholm. Probably. I mean, I, I do know a little history, you know what I mean? All right. You know? Miss Shirley Chisholm. We got Miss Minnie Wig. Mm-hmm. Looking straight, straight. Like a, I don't <laughs> Try me. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, did a lot. Born in like, I think she was born in like 1920, Florida. Mm-hmm. Um, I say uh, first woman of color to the Congress. Did like nine terms too, I think was well, something, seven or nine. She was born in nineteen twenty-four. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
I know how. <laughs> Boys old. Twenty twenty four. Man, so, he was in Congress seven terms. Yeah, from nineteen sixty nine to nineteen eighty three. So thank you for paving the way. Yes, sir. You know, and then one of my uh, most recent women of history, Mother Viola Ford Fletcher, uh, who we had the honor of giving her official Ghanaian citizenship with OBT. Shout out to OBT. Shout out. You know, go download the platform. Get with us. <laughs> it is what it is. Whole black movement, uh, social media movement. And um, yeah, so who, who, who's uh influential past, present, or future woman for you? Who? <sighs> I don't know. Mm. Honestly, uh, I mean, Women, women is just in general. Let's speak in general. Just you know, it's, it's strong and so important in our community. You feel me? In our lives, spirit, the things that they do, and yeah. you know, just in general. To I really ain't had nobody picked out as far as like a person I could look to or anything like that. He's yeah, so doing our black women. Look out, Molly. He's just yeah. You got real comfortable talking. You know what I mean? Flat line. <sighs> sorry for you guys. You know, I'm sorry y'all had to hear. Hey, <laughs> oh. it's real and raw right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd be phony if I come up here and say, yeah, I'm thinking about this. You know what I mean? You know. But... Now watch when we go to another time. Let's see if he gets passionate. No, don't do that. Let me go there, you know what I mean? Ah! Ah! I know. Um, so, um, just to let you know, I'm going to just lay it out there. My bags are packed. Lamar, wherever you go, I'm going. He's not um, going anywhere. Ravens, yeah. I'm He's not going anywhere. Not liking y'all. Well, I, I, you know, I'll still ride with y'all, but I'm... I'm letting you know right I'm now. I'm distance. I'm following from a distance. I put you know my right now. barrier in between me and Lamar. I'm, Lamar's not I'm going in anywhere. The Lamar you can't. Maybe we break out the candy ball on this one. Because for one, you don't know. You know why Lamar ain't going nowhere? Because the Ravens ain't going to let him go nowhere. I'm not sure. Anybody, you know why nobody don't want to touch Lamar right now? Yeah. It's because they know whatever number they put out, the Ravens going to match. Nah. I don't think so. Even though they are clearing cap space, but still, <laughs> it's a it's a certain number they that they're in, willing not to go. They already cleared over fourteen million in cap space already. <laughs> still not enough. I mean, once you take Lamar, well, maybe for this year, but you still got to do it long term. Once you take Lamar franchise take hit off and add it with that fourteen mil, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll see. It's not looking good. It's, it's only a matter good. matter of time before my man, before the Jackson can't roll out. Well, you got to think about it. You got to think about this, right? Carolina, mm -hmm. they just now traded up to the number one overall pick. Right? Mm -hmm. So they're going to draft a quarterback. That's one. Two, the Raiders, who need a quarterback because they just now uh, dropped Dark Carr, they just now, draft, they just now uh, signed Jimmy G. Yep. I mean, two of the Dolphins picked up two of a uh, fifth year option. I ain't worried. I ain't worried at all. Only team that can probably do something is the Colts. Nope. The Jets can do something. I ain't worried about it. They Arizona a, a, can do they something. They are A Rod Watch. Arizona is uh, not going to do nothing. They just now signed Kyle Murray to that long deal. Why would they do that? Like they can't trade it. Like like Josh Rosen didn't get let go, even though he was still on his rookie. But um, yeah, it's still uh, possibilities looming. Um, the Raiders, we know who Jimmy G is. I think that's just a backup plan because um, he's only getting twenty something million a year in that deal. Mm -hmm. So most likely Ravens got Lamar for one year. That's about it, and then he's probably out of here. Unfortunately, we out of here. So Lamar ain't going nowhere. Me and my guy, 
We out of here. And I hope it's somewhere in the AFC so he come back and burn them twice a year. Well, you know who you're starting to sound like, but I ain't going to put the names out there. Who? Um, oh, you can't. You can't. I can't disclose. You, yeah, you don't want to. Uh, yeah, put dirt on his name since he's affiliated with. Well, well hey, hey. <laughs> I ain't even talking about him, but I mean, I ain't heard from him since, uh, you know, the first the playoff game, the uh, the one yard line d- dive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, yeah, there's uh, been a lot <clears> going <throat> on though. I mean, the the Bears uh, they they are stacking up, man. I don't I got DJ Moore over there now with Chase Claypool and them. They just now got uh, they just now got uh, Edmonds from Buffalo. Yeah, nobody cares about the Bears. Hey, nobody cares. But that's a good move though. That DJ Moore. Yeah, that's another team that can get Lamar. Carolina he just jumped up to number one. Draft picks aren't guaranteed though. If I'm gonna jump up to number one, I'm not gonna jump up to number one to trade the Ravens the number one draft overall pick for. Lamar Jackson. Why not? That was already number uh, nine, I believe. I would just gave him number nine pick. No, but who in the draft? When the foul number nine, quarterback wise, Anthony Richardson. Mm. Who I, I don't trust him. And which who I think I don't they, trust none of the quarterbacks who I think coming out. They moved up to get because he's more like Cam Newton than you know what I mean. But Lamar's already proven. I understand that. So why wouldn't you go with a But why would the Ravens let him go if he's already proven? They ain't doing nothing but let, saying good things about him, the whole both sides. I of, guess so. They try to make up for be smirching his name and all these false narratives they put out. Who put it out? Not them. Who else did? Somebody in the cab said he, he he demanded a, a fully guaranteed contract. No, no, nobody in that cab said anything. Then how did it get out? The same way anything else get out. Speculation. Uh, Where's your facts? Uh, Stephen A. already disclosed it. You really get out of here, man. Yeah, well, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Stephen A. need to worry about fixing his mustache before. He <laughs> <laughs> and and <laughs> uh, that's your boy. You know, that's your... <laughs> you my dog, Steve. Yeah, you my man. dog. Oh, you know you my dog, oh, man. Wow. No sir, you my dog, Steve. Yeah. And another ancillary fact is why give him the non-exclusive to let him explore? Because it was smart on the Ravens to give him the non-exclusive because they couldn't get close to what he was talking about or what he thought he was, you know, he could get. So what he said was go out there and see who else will get you the guaranteed money that you're looking for. See if there's anything out there. And if you don't get that, same way they did Ray Lewis, they let him go out there and see what he was going to get. You know what I mean? Go ahead and see what you're going to get and see how it's going to work. Now, Lamar's situation is this. He going out there, and when he go out there, he realize what the market is. Whatever other teams offer him, the Ravens is going to match. It's not going to get past that five days. We'll see. We'll see. Bob. And the reason why people don't want to touch Lamar is because, like they said, I'm not going to do your job for you. If you can't do the negotiating... <laughs> Why would I sit there and say, look, I'm going to give you a, a six-year deal, $250 million, $200 million guaranteed, up to $250 million guaranteed. You feel what I'm saying? That's $50 million a year, which I think he's, he's well worth. 50, 50, 50 to $52 million, $55 million a year. Why would I do that work for you? For me to go out there and say, I'm going to do this, I'll put all this stuff out there for you just to say, I'm going to match it. Hmm. Thank but you. But you see how you said that, that, that guarantee... Thank you. That that narrative that they said he said, but he didn't say. Everybody got guaranteed money. No, I'm talking about what you just said. What two hundred like, million guaranteed? Yeah, two hundred fifty. I said up to two hundred fifty. Mm-hmm. Two hundred fifty is the whole contract. Mm-hmm. But it's not fully guaranteed. Only no, thing that's guaranteed, guaranteed is no. I didn't. I said. Well, 200, you say up to. 200, I said two hundred. Two hundred. At least two hundred guaranteed. But not fully. I said, no, 200 guaranteed, yes. Mm-hmm. 200 fully guaranteed. You get that. Mm-hmm. But the contract was for 250. Right. Up to 250 guaranteed. It's going to go more than that. It probably do. But the years probably go more too. Uh, nah. 
Maybe six. That's about it. I do a six year contract. And six somebody years, said, I had six a, years, he'd be 32. I say, because of the volatility of football. And if you do it, I say you do it quarterly or just in four year deals and have that fourth year be an option after three. Because if you think about it, four years of high school, four years of college, that third, well, especially for college, you got to be in college at least two play years. two. That third year, you can go. So it's like an option. So just like it should translate that to football, that third year after third, third year if it don't work out and have the option of redo the reconstruct or just add on an extension, however they do. Well, I mean, they reconstruct really like in the second year if they I like want that. To. You know what I mean? It don't, it's the re, the, uh, the reconstruct of the contract don't got nothing to do with the contract. The only thing you're doing is giving some money and a sign a bonus and, you know, moving stuff to the back. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's all that is, just a clear space. That's what uh, the Browns just now did with Deshaun Watson. Yeah. They cleared $36 million. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, and also, we already know, guarantee don't count as much against the cat. Because that money is going right to them. Yeah. Did you know a guaranteed contract coming from the NFL, the owners got to put that money in escrow? Mm-hmm. Up front, no, up front. If it's guaranteed, they gotta put that money, that guaranteed money up up front. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. I didn't know, but yeah, that makes sense. Um, we're moving on. Shout out to Maryland for making the dance. Uh, yeah, and the Howard team, Howard representing. Did Mar- did Morgan make it? I yeah. mean, not Morgan Towson. No, because Towson went. They was they was they was different this year, bro. Yeah, um, Towson didn't make it, but the Maryland Terps got got a tough bracket, and they got the the toughest one of the toughest oh, games. Uh, Maryland, yeah, the eight West nine, Virginia eight nine matchup. They got West Virginia, and then after eight nine, you got to play the number one number seed one. in that bracket, and it's Alabama, I believe. Depending see. on depending on what Maryland team shows up, because Maryland been rolling, but it's been some yeah games. yeah it's they, been some games like come on, like really. Yeah, like the last game in the Big Ten tournament that they played against uh, Indiana, I believe uh, they had they had the momentum, and uh, the ref he missed the call, bro. It was a goaltender. Yeah, it definitely was a goaltender, <laughs> and um, <coughs> he missed that call. They they didn't give it a goal. They didn't call it as goaltender. They just called it a block, and then Indiana just yeah took off. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't see it, but um, I know they was up and ended up losing. I, I really didn't. I thought they was going to make it to the uh, championship game. Uh, uh, but, yeah, they got a tough bracket. So, if if they get past West Virginia, Alabama, they most likely got to see Virginia. Mm, got Baylor in there. Who's enough? Missouri, they're, they're tough. Arizona. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough, bro. But shout out uh, 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 Coach Willis, though, for doing a phenomenal job. Yeah. I got to give it to him. Um, it's crazy, though. I, I, there's no no pre- prohibitive favorite or dominant college ball player that I really can connect to. Yeah, it's weird, right? Normally, like, it's somebody that's no just, Zion's. Yeah, no, it's nothing. There's no big name. It's more big names on the. Uh, I only women's. know Brandon Miller because he's kind of in some controversial trouble and he playing for Alabama. And hold on, did you say Howard? Yeah, <laughs> they going home. <laughs> yeah, at least they. Hey, look at their record though. They going home, twenty-two or twelve. Yeah. So. Yeah, 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 it is, and it's a local team. So, shout out to the locals. Uh, locally home. <laughs> I guess I'm either picking the normal, right? Like <laughs> somebody out of the ACC or Big Twelve. No, don't sleep on Purdue. Don't sleep on Purdue. Mm. Don't sleep on Purdue. I guess I don't. I don't know. I don't even know where to start. 
I don't care though. It's March Madness time. That's all I'm gonna say. Yep. <laughs> I'll be tuning in. Uh. Anywho. <laughs> Um. So they're uh, throwing more more dirt on Jai. He's already in high water. Man like that, man. They didn't just turned it up to to boil, broil, broil, both. And I don't know if y'all seen, but they they leaking Jai's uh champagne shame, champagne room video. And, and I think what was it like? He was drinking. Like Casamigo, well, su- supposedly, like down in it, like on the team flight or something like that. I mean, you go look at them flights to see who don't be drinking. Yeah, hey, I don't know. Uh, like, I just think they doing too much. It's like, man, but they say he was drinking like this is a normal thing. Like, he said he was drinking it like water. I All right, know. Ron Artest used to drink a 40 at the halftime. All right. Forget that. He was drunk. No, I mean I'm just saying. Yeah. Like, come on. Yeah, like, he was he was drunk. Forget drinking the forty and a half. Hours. He was already drunk. Like, come on, bro. Like, yeah, I already know he's in hot water, but he they gotta uh, surprise the uh, franchise. Then do the behind the scenes, yeah, clean up, try to protect the man or something. Help help out his uh, image a little bit more. Uh, Agent Zero, he said, uh, John might. Well, that's if he wants to be a promoted as a a face of the franchise or an NBA um, face, top tier player. Said now he might need to uh, go the corporate route and, and cut the dreads to get rid of that the hip hop culture look. No, the thing you gotta do is just do what you've been doing. Play basketball. Uh-huh. Do what, what got you there. You know what I mean? Like all the extra stuff that you're doing. Like for what? Why are you even doing it? You know what I mean? Don't you got work too like much, that. You got too much talent to be just trying to be something you're not. You feel me? Like Don't always work like that. I'm not, if I'm him, I'm not cutting my head for this. I just now got a contract. So you don't want to be promoted like you want to be as a prominent top-tier NBA player? My game speaks for itself. I'm good. You already paid me. I got my Supermax extension. That's going to be renegotiated. Not if I stop playing. Give me my money. They'll be paying me like Nick's paying Allen Houston. Stop playing with me. Mm. You don't see nowhere in my contract where it say if I do this and I do that. Hopefully, Ja. I was about to say, I don't. You jumping out there, kind of. You froggy. <laughs> Hopefully, Ja. You, you know what I mean. You smart. You know what I mean. And, and even if that's the case, same thing that happened with Gil or AI. Uh, start getting into well, trouble. Yeah, we want need. We want need some of that back. Well, Gil brought a whole gun to the locker room, so he was really, you know, about to go down with uh, with uh, Deshaun Stevenson. I think that's what it was. What? No, it was uh, Javaris uh, Crenson. I thought it was Deshaun Stevenson. Nah. He was on that team. Uh, uh, he might have been. But first of all, stop taking advice from people <laughs> like Gil with the rain is that. Uh, well, I understand Gil. Gil been down that road. No, right? I, I was going to say, Gil you better. Been down that road. Why? Well, that's the perfect guy yeah, to take advice yeah. from. Yeah. <laughs> what are we talking about? Yeah, he ain't bring no guns to the facility. Yeah. My man was in the, in the club yeah. with, a little, with a little pea shooter. <laughs> a little nine. in 22 yeah. or something. Gil wasn't trying to portray this tough guy image like Jack. Gil, that's crazy. Don't be calling agents, yo. He's just reckless. He was just crazy. Nah, yeah, he, was, he wasn't crazy. He's one of my other dark skinned brothers. That's what we're supposed to do. You know what I mean? That's nah, all it was. He wasn't crazy. Him, yeah, Ron Artes. Gil's not no. a fighter. <laughs> he's not a fighter. He's a dog, though. He's, he's a dog with a play. He's not a fighter. Gil's not. Gil's not fighting. He's one of the. He's got light skin tendencies. He's, <laughs> he's, he's he was going to hide behind the dog. Now now my my other you know he's semi like Karan Butler. He was well well, well, well we, now now and I forgot my man. And I'm gonna add Kenyon Martin. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be coming with us, people like that. He with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he definitely dark skin on the, the story. And transitly, that dude got. All the dark skin, <laughs> all, the, all the dark skin persona, <laughs> like, man. That was going on, right? Like, but K Mart, light skin community, man. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, 
<laughs> I forgot that last episode. I thought about it. I was like, man, I don't, I don't leave out Kmart, Kmart man. <laughs> man, Kmart the funniest though, yeah. boy. <laughs> nah, but um, if, if 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 I mean he his son is just like him, though. That's crazy. As far as like how he play his style, mm-hmm. it's crazy. KJ with yeah. the, with the Rockets. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Uh, yeah, because he was in a dunk contest. Shouldn't have been. Trace, you messed up when you try to let your father throw a oop for you. Like, come on. <laughs> I know you have a once father son moment, but yeah, that wasn't. That ain't it. <laughs> jump over him. Yeah, that's like, all you like, do. Nah, you you're just, not throwing me no oop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you used to catch him. Yeah, right, exactly. so, <laughs> like, no. You know what I mean? Um, that's crazy. You know what I mean? But uh, I do, I do got a question. I know it's probably old, you know, but I still got to ask this question. You know, how you like zoos? Yeah, you know, you like going to the zoo. Zoos are definitely lit. Definitely like to see the the creatures, like you know, creations and exhibits and mm-hmm. the majesty of uh, animals you may love. My favorite tigers. Love tigers. So when you get a chance to, I, I, I mean, if it wasn't so <laughs> risque, I would be one of the white people that would go to a, a, a tiger enclosure. Well, I, actually, I would go to a baby tiger if they got, if, if Joe Exotic was still open, oh, I might have yeah. made that trip. You made that trip? I would have made the trip to Oklahoma, you know, I'm just saying. So you let me know which one's worse, because I got two of them for you. All right. One kind of old and one I'm kind of new. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? First one, uh. Man wanted, that. man wanted to pet a lion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. So he stuck his hand in there the first time, while the lion is already growling. You feel me? Because you already too close. Right. Granted, the, the gate is there, but yeah, you're you still, already stepped over. You're, so. you're too close. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we we all say. I think we all seen um the animal encounters. Uh, it's very closely to this yeah. story, you know. You know, Whether it be the, the lion, somebody trying to pet the lion, the gorilla. Or they trying to jump on the alligator, yeah. you know what I mean? The orangutan, yeah. Like, I mean, it's, it's a barrier for a reason. You know, you know? You know what I mean? I'm guessing it was a Wahite gentleman. No. Oh, black? This is a black guy. Oh, man. Letting up people. And Jamaica. Man, uh, Jamaican Zoo. Not nah, Dexter. <laughs> yes, uh, Dexter. <laughs> Dexter. Oh, man. Sticks his hand in there. He, he, he pet it the first time, got his finger back, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? But the dummy, yeah. do it again. And you know, once you do it the first time, the second time, they own it. He do it again, and the lion grabbed that middle finger. Yeah, I, like I said, I, I didn't, I've seen this, uh, seen that one too many times. Like, like he, he, yeah. he, he, and he yeah. got his feet up on the gate trying, trying to, to yeah. pull back. Yeah. Luckily, he got his finger back. Yeah. yeah. It ain't getting taken off. Yeah, that's 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 a, that's a fortunate <laughs> incident encounter because yeah, yeah and you ain't getting one, that digit back. Another one. I mean, again uh, with the lions. Mm-hmm. I think it was over in Europe. Mm-hmm. Drunken man jumps into the lions, man. Mm. Now he's down there with the lion, and the lion looking at him. Is that for me? Like, uh mm-hmm. huh. Free game? Right. Like, we good? Like, he looking around like, right, right. all right. He, he raised up at him a little bit. You hey, know? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> like, oh, man. Tell Tony Baker. Be like, hold on, hold on. Hey, Stanley, man. You see this? You see this? <laughs> hey, man, you, did you order we, something? We, we good? Like, like, this too easy. Nah, y'all done made it too easy. I've been looking for some white meat. I ain't had human in a minute. Ever since, you know, we was in the, mm-hmm. in, in the Serengeti. You know what I mean? Stanley, man, come on, get in on Stop this. Stop playing with me, man. You get in on this. this, this. We got so, it. This so, is for the community. So man. my man's yeah. sitting down in front of him, just sitting there like this. He drunk. Yeah. Mm. So he gets up. Don't first. tell me it's another. No, 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 no. This is why he takes Yes. All right. You know. I'm about to say, it can't be two of us doing this. He, he jumped at the tight. The lion jumped at him. You know what I mean? He... And one of those, yeah, try to, you know, what I mean, bad kitty. Mm-hmm. So he he stopped and he like fought trying to pull him that way. Now he kind of sober now, you know. What I mean, he ain't drunk no more because mm-hmm. he realized, like, oh, that raw, you know what I mean. So he like 
the the tamer is they trying to make the lion come this way towards him. He's pointing at him like, go that way. He trying to walk with him and stuff like that. But he got out of there. I don't know. It was. But that, stop playing with your life, people. You know? Man. Stop, stop playing with your life. See, I think he caught the lions off guard. Like I, after I feeding, yeah, that's what it had. Yeah, to be. He had like, oh. Yeah, I'm gonna let you live this like, time. Well, I'll let like, you live. I'm gonna let you live. Right. Bad be lucky there wasn't no female ones around. <sighs> I don't, man, that, that's that's wild. I'm I'm surprised they just didn't shred them just for fun. Just, I'm trying to tell you, bro. Even if they weren't hungry, but like, oh. he let him go. He let him go. Yeah, that, that's that's a crazy. People, yeah, the, the biggest... when you go to the zoo, man, just go into the zoo and just look at the animals from and, a distance. And, and stuff. I, don't, I don't know, if, have you ever heard either at the zoo, well, yeah, have you ever heard that roar in real life? Real nah, time? Nah, boy, but I know <laughs> it will. Woo! I, I know that roar will. No, be. Oh, my thing rattles your soul. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I know, I know it will, boy. Just, just like just, the unadulterated, yeah, like, <laughs> like <laughs> every hair you just your, feel like every hair on your body just stand up. Like Kevin Hart, like in my mind, he just got out. <laughs> <laughs> he just got where out. yet? <laughs> where yet? A head, I'm yeah, running. Oh, Is this that simple? So I remember hearing it at the zoo, and I think I heard it at the circus one time. I was just like, whoo. <laughs> like it's just, it's just like it just the gates in the circus just disappear. <laughs> <What's up? laughs> see, see, I, see look, 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 Now you know, see, this, I know it ain't story time yet. I know it ain't story time yet. But since we yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. it, I gotta get on it. You know what I mean? Uh-huh, uh-huh. You know, I used to work. You know, I, I work uh, walking the gas and electric lines. Uh-huh. <laughs> My assignment uh-huh. was the zoo. You know what I mean? So. I got to wait for the person to come, the main person. Uh, I'm waiting for him. Oh, uh, he like, all right, follow me. I'm fi- I'm in the truck. Uh, he in his truck. We go inside the little gated area. He like, all right, park your truck right here. All right, now you get in with me. He in the golf cart. That's uh, what he was saying, in the golf cart. He said, you get in with me. We ride. He's, before we ride <laughs> off, he said, so when you walking out here, your truck is your safe key. I said, huh? He said, yeah, we didn't have some animals to get out, but we don't let them know like that, but they just got out. <laughs> so he said, you get to your truck. This had to be a brother. What? No. Oh, my. <laughs> he said, you get I thought to he was doing like, like look, look, bro. <laughs> he said, you get to your truck and you stay in your truck. And so I call <laughs> you and tell you, you good. <laughs> so now, me, I got to hook up. I'm down on the ground, hooking up to this stuff, looking around. Like, oh. <laughs> Don't you tell me in the middle of an opening in the You are the worst, bro. <laughs> like, come on now. Uh, look, I'm putting yeah. anything down on this grass. I'm just putting some paint down. Y'all At what point were you just like, like either ready to call him and jump like, yeah, I'm, you want to need somebody else to lie. When he rolled out. <laughs> when he said, call me when you're done. I'm like, where are you going? Like, we, we in this together. Like, man, come on, <laughs> man. They gonna hit me with it. We did have some animals get loose, you know, but yeah, we don't let it get out because we got them back, you know. Oh wow! Like, yeah. and mind you, they uh-huh. redoing the zoo, so you like, hold on, like, what's going on? Look, let me know what's going on. Yo, that is hilarious. Yeah, man. Like, <laughs> is this the way you, your truck, your truck is, is your protection. Your... That's the, when you get to your truck. truck. Yeah, you just stay in there. <laughs> Now I'm I'm working. Got my truck door yeah. open and car, the truck still on. You know what I mean? I'm not. Hey Tyler, what what, what, what are you doing here? What, you know what I mean? No, no, you stay here, Tyler. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness, that is a little else. Right. That you know who? Right. Trying to tell you, man. How fast were you that day? Oh yeah, I'm glad it was only one gas line, yeah. and it was halfway marked already. So all they had to do is just follow it out. Hmm. He's like, it goes here, it goes down there, it goes here and there. I... <laughs> right, right, right. Uh-huh, know, right. Like, you want to mark? Like, you sure that's right? Yeah, yeah, it look good to me. That's yeah, what right. I hit arrows, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I, I will mark and be like, put an arrow there and say it's going that way. Uh-huh. So, yeah, I'm out of there. All right. That's a good one. So, yeah. stop playing with these zoos, people. You know what I mean? Uh, just animals in general. That's why they, they're where they're at. And, 
we, we, where we, we, we try to have a separation between wildlife and captivity. You know, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah. Um, mm, mm, mm. Your truck. It's your safe here. Yeah. Yeah, well, what, uh, that what happened at work today is like, uh, it's like two, two moral life lessons. Um, one that's a revolving thing. Um, your kids can be trash. And then, um, yeah, uh, parents can be trash for being too fast, too young. And that's why the kids are there. So, I seen a, a on a podcast. All right, so a kid texted his mom. It was like a black Twitter story. He was in sex education. Yeah, I think he was in sex education, or or uh, yeah, that that lesson for high school. And they're talking about you know protecting yourself, and then he just came to the re- realization. He did the math. I was like, hold up, my mom's <laughs> I I know what you my mean. mom is like sixteen years, seventeen <laughs> years older than me. Hold up, my mom was smashing unprotected. <laughs> yeah. When I was in high hold up, I'm in sixteen. So he gets on the phone, texts his mom. How irresponsible. Irresponsible. Said, first of all, like mom, like, um Yeah, um, so we just talking about, you know, sex and um in school class lesson, and uh, mm-hmm. so you was smashing raw in high school. <laughs> this is what he texted like, about. Raw, no. He's like, she was like, she didn't answer right away, but it was like it was back to back, just shots fired because it's like, all right, so you smashing raw? That's crazy. And I'm not even the oldest kid, ma. Boom. I was like, oh, that's another shot fire. <laughs> like, I got like three. It was like the kid had like, I think. Two siblings. Mm-hmm. And he, I think he was the middle one. If I'm not, if I got the story That's right, irresponsible. So then he's like, "Man, I can't believe you was smashing, just raw dogging it in high school, man. <laughs> how, you, how, how irresponsible can you be? All these." So I was just like, <laughs> like "Man, right, look, kids, look, you better right, calm right, down now. Slow right. down, buddy. <laughs> Slow down, man." It's like not only that. They yeah, say, judge your mom. Oh, you are. Yeah, like, like I said, the audacity. <laughs> like I said, uh, uh, just calling your parents out because I got the I got the up opposite side of that spectrum uh, with one of my uh, one of my younger dudes. Um, but yeah, kids are trash. And then if, if mm, you if mm. you uh, you know a parent that had a kid early, I suggest you just uh, be prepared. Just lay just lay it out, or All yeah, right. just be prepared for the the realization for him to set in. Like man, you was. You, you was you out was here, really getting yeah. down with the get down. Yeah, you yeah. better not say nothing right. to me. <laughs> exactly. You, you better not say was, nothing to me. You was, you was throwing that thing in the circle early. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So on the opposite side. <laughs> throwing that thing. <laughs> <laughs> so on the opposite side. Oh, uh, like, he, I, uh, I forget how old my boy is. But he's in high school, too. But, um. He had an encounter with like a, a teacher and somebody random in the street or at a party or something like that. And they came up to him like, man, you look familiar. You know who you look like? Do you do you have a you know, you just get the uh, try to compare somebody oh, that looks oh. like somebody like that. Yeah. So that's what the person came up to him. He was like, yeah, yeah. He's like, you must be talking about. uh, uh um. Oh, Willie Earp. No, you you must be talking about Chavez Henderson. Chavez. <laughs> you must be talking about Chavez Henderson. She's like, yeah, you know him? Yeah, that's my dad. Oh. oh. And then here here's where it gets even more cloudy and um, that pop was a rolling stone and just hoeing out here. She's like, yeah. She's like, yeah. Um, have you met my daughter? And no. uh, yes, yes, nah, yes, not the sister. Yes, he ended up meeting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. Now, just imagine what his mother. Yeah, bro. <laughs> like, bro. Go on, hey, ma. Like, hold up. So, hey, ma. I'm not my sister today. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So it was on the. It was just the fact. That it was on the random. 
please, stranger, you know who you look? Such and such. Do you know this person? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's my dad. Oh, that's your dad, huh? <laughs> Uh, um, you know, uh, um, sure Bonita, come here. I want you to meet somebody. Troy, Bonita, Bonita, Troy. I'm gonna get child ass right now. I ain't gonna say yeah. nothing to mom. I'm gonna go with her. Hey, 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 dad. Hey, man. You know you done messed up, right? But he was like, he. I was like, so how many brothers and sisters that do you got? He, of course, it was in double digits. And he's like, yeah, I think I met about six of them. It was like. Six or seven of them. It's like about four or five of them I ain't met yet, but they out here somewhere. I was like, man. That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Dad throwing that thing out. Oh, my goodness. That is crazy, man. Uh, hey, look. So, y'all, yeah, look. Parents. Yeah. What you All you when, fast look, what moms you, and dads and dads and moms uh, out there. Got to put it both because I don't, I don't want to, you know, come down on me. No. <laughs> hey, parents. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Be careful. Yeah. Be prepared. Talk to your kids, man. You know what I mean? Prep for the worst. <laughs> I'm glad I ain't got to worry about that. You know what I yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Stay <laughs> tuned. <laughs> um, so that does it. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Mm -hmm. um, definitely uh, share the channel and Forgot to say, uh, got the exclusive Cutting Up Podcast channel. Yes, Please go subscribe to that because eventually I'm going just, to just show clips on Emails Barber Life and just have the podcast awesome. on there. Um, but definitely, uh, you know, just stay tuned in to both. So, uh, uh, once again, it's your uh, boy Frankie B. Yep. Happy uh, Women's History Month. And uh, Eman the Barber, Goat in the Making. We out. <laughs>